hi guys welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for stopping by so guys in today's tutorial i'll be showing you how to make an easy a-line dress for little girls i have this fabric here for making the a-line dress but i'll be drafting on the pattern paper after which i'll place on the fabric to cut okay and the dress will be having ruffles at the front so if this is something that you're interested in please make sure that you watch till the end don't forget to like comment and subscribe if you enjoyed watching okay so the i'll draft the front and the back on this same paper and after which i'll place the pattern on the back on the fabric and cut out the back first i'll not be placing the zipper allowance on the paper i'll just cut that out on the fabric okay so let's start placing measurements so i'll start by drawing my starting point which is here so the next line that i'll be marking from this starting point line is the body measurement line which is five inches and how did i get the five inches the round arm hole divided by two which is four and a half plus half inch of shoulder slope measurement so i'll measure five inch from here and mark so i'll place my shoulder measurement my shoulder measurement is nine inches divided by two is four and a half so i'll mark it here then i'll come down by half inch for the shoulder slope And I'll be using a neck width of 2 inches. With a neck depth of also 2 inches for the front. And 1 inch for the back. So, so I'll connect all these lines. I'll place the same 4.5 inches here. And connect with a straight line. I'll get the midpoint of this armhole, which is four and a half. I'll get the midpoint. Here. And I'll come in by half inch here. Half an inch. So I'll place my body measurement here. I'm working with a body measurement of 21 inches. Divided by 4 is 5 and a quarter. 5 and a quarter. I'll add half inch for ease, making it 5 and 3 quarter. And then I'll add 1 inch to win allowance, making it 6 and 3 quarter. 6 and 3 quarter. So here it is. This half inch I'll connect to the shoulder slope. guys pardon this my marker it's overflowing i'm just managing the marker i don't have anyone around i'll just manage it so and then i'll curve from here to this body measurement the full length of the dress is 22 inches plus one inch to win allowance making it 23 inches so here is 23 inches On this line, I'll place the same measurement that I have here. What I have here is six and three quarter. I'll place the same measurement here, six and three quarter. I'll connect it with a straight line, six and three quarter. So because this is an A-line dress, I will extend this by two uh, two inches. I will not be using two and a half. I will use two inches. You can use two and a half. You can use three inches, but I don't want it to be too wide. So I will use two inches. So from this two inches line here, I will connect it into a straight line to this point here. Okay. So we'll just connect down. So I'll come up by three quarter of an inch here. Water, and then I'll connect it to this point just curve it I'll cut out the back neckline first and then place it on fabric and cut out the back before making alterations for the front okay So 
So I've marked out a zipper allowance of one and a quarter inch. The reason is because I'll be weaving out the quarter inch and then I'll be left with one inch. So if you're making, I just wanted to point this out that if you're making this dress without a zipper, make sure that you use a neckline that will make it easy for the child to wear. And also, you'll be making the slit at the back enough to pass through her, enough to pass her and head so that the child will not suffer while wearing the clothes, okay? So, also make it free, freer than this one. Two inches can, can add half, it's making it two and a half inches, so it'll be really, really free and easy for her to wear, okay? So, now I'll just cut this out. This is the zipper allowance, and then I'll cut out. So this is for the back and I'll set this aside. So guys, the reason why I'll be making changes to the front piece is because I'll be cutting this front piece into two, which is where I'll be placing the frills. I'll be placing the frills in between the two pieces that I'll be cutting. So let me quickly show you how to do that. So you can also make this without cutting this into two. You can just attach the frills onto the front piece like that. It will still fall and be fine. But I want to place mine in between. So I'll measure three inches from here, from the shoulder slope, three inches. three inches so three inches here will be three and a half inches from here because of this half inch that we remove from here so I'll measure three and a half from here so I'll measure five and a half inches here which is the midpoint so this is two inches already so I'll place on the two inches for the neckline from the front neckline and mark five and a half and then I'll curve from here to here. You can choose to curve, you can choose to reduce yours to five for anything, but I just want to use five and a half. So I'll curve from here to here. So now I'll cut this and place on fabric and cut out. So one important thing to note is that you should add sewing allowance to this when cutting on fabric. If you make that mistake, then that means that your front piece and your back piece will not be equal and you'll also run into problem here. Your armhole for the front and the back will not be equal. So I'll, I'll write it here. Add half inch sewing allowance. If you know that it is quarter of an inch that you will use, you add quarter of an inch. If you know that you want to use half an inch, you add half an inch. Make sure that whatever thing that you add, whatever thing that you cut out on the fabric, which is half inch or quarter of an inch, is what you're going to sew in so that you don't run into problems, so that this armhole becomes equal with the back. You won't have any problem, okay? So I'll place it on fabric now and, and I'll make room for the sewing allowance and cut out. Cut on fold. Don't make the mistake of not cutting on fold. So guys here is the front piece this is how it looks so by the time i take in the sewing allowance of half an inch on both sides i'll be left with this i'll be left with this okay so for the ruffle i'll measure what i have here i'll set this aside but before doing that let me measure what i have here so to guide me to cut the frills So I have 10 inches, it will be the same here. So I have 10 inches and I'll use that as a guide to cut the frills. So let me quickly show you how to cut the frills. So guys, for the ruffles, I have this fabric here, which is three times of the measurement that I have. I have 15 inches on fold, which is 30 inches. So what I'll do first is to hem this all the way around. 
after hemming it, I will now come and measure the length that I want just to get it perfectly. So I'll quickly go and hem this and cut out what I need, okay? So guys, I'm done hemming the fabric for the frill. And what I'll do now is to place the measurement of the length that I need. So what I need is 3 inches for the frill. But I'll be adding the same half inch allowance which I left on the dress. So that all the sewing allowance will match. So I'll be leaving, I'll be marking 3 and half inch. So I'll mark it all the way down and then cut out. So the way that this was attached to the dress that we are recreating is with kissing pleats. So I'll be using the same pattern, but you can also use ordinary pleats, gathers. You can just play around with it, do whatever thing you want and attach there. So this, I'll place it this way. If, you, if you're not a beginner, you should know how to kiss in pleat. I'll place it this way. So I'll place this in between the fabrics. So let me show you. So you're going to place it front to front like this. This one should be on the front side. On the front side front front will be here on the upper part here because you're not turning it again to just be like this so you can split you can split if you like you can sew the three of them at the same time you can place this one on top and then sew and then you fold your pleat again and then sew you know just like that or you can just keep split on this one alone after which you will now attach this one on top Whichever one that will be easy for you, just do that. So I'll just attach this pleat to the dress and show you how it looks. So guys, I forgot to mention that you have to hem this side and tuck it in. Or another way that you can do it is to use excess of fabric and then sew it up to this point. So then it will be spread like this. To be spread like this. Then you, when you're sewing the armhole, you sew it together to see be okay. But I chose to end my own here. So what I'll do now is to place this like this. And then sew it and come and show you how it looks so guys this is it i've pleated it to it and then what i'll do is to notch this point so that i can relax i will notch it later on so what i'll do is i'll join the shoulders this is the back piece i'll join the shoulders i'll join it at the shoulder so that i can hem the neckline for the neckline i'll be using bias i'll cut one and a quarter inch of this same fabric to hem the neckline so i'll join the shoulders i'll cut one and a quarter inch of fabric and then also hem the neckline after hemming the neckline i'll make sure that i notch it top stitch so that everything will be neat okay i'll do that and i'll also be cutting bias strip also to cut, to hem the armhole okay i will not be doing anything special i'll just hem the armhole with a bias strip of this same fabric so i'll do all that hem the two sides and then also join the back up to the length of the zipper and then attach the zipper and come and show you okay so guys i'm done doing all that i've hemmed the sides done the neckline i've not ironed it yet so that's why it's not yet relaxed i've sewn the necklines the armhole sewn the two sides as well so what i'll do next is to attach a pocket a very small pocket of four inches length the pocket will start from 10 inches to 14 inches so the length of the pocket will be four inches for her two she's a two years old so it's a very very tiny pocket so the pocket will just be four inches so but i sewed this whole side what i'll do now is to open up these four inches i'll do the same on the other side and show you what next to do guys i have loosened what i need for the pocket and i have this fabric here for the two sides which is eight inches because this is on fold eight inches by four inches so i'll put this this way this is the back of the pocket this is the front so this is what i mean so let me show you from the wrong side this is what i mean so i'll place the fabric like this one side this way and so and then the other side i will sew it this way after which i will now close the side it's that easy so let me quickly do that and show you the finished look of the dress so guys i have attached the pockets on the two sides a very small pocket on the two sides and I'm here to iron the dress. This is the finished look of the dress. So this is the finished look of the dress. Thank you so much guys for watching up until now. And I hope you learned something new from this video. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe if you're not subscribed already. You can try making this. It's very easy to make. So thank you for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Okay, bye.